Hey, what's up, guys? Game Series back again with the new Diablo 3 expansion. Now, this is the first time I've played it so far. I've played for about 20 minutes. I'm going to show you the Barbarian build that I'm using that is quite effective on Torment 1 difficulty. Now, I don't see a point in raising the difficulty just yet until, you know, we're doing farming runs or key warden runs or um, the new ingredients for the infernal machines that we're going to need. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at the build real quick. My primary skill with Bash again with Instigation fear for Fury Generation. Um, Whirlwind, my secondary skill with the Blood Funnel Rune. A very important for getting some life back um, because the guys are going to hit harder um, in Act 5. It's just, you know, it's just the way things are. Um, leap, I'm using as well, generate some fury, and I'm using the iron impact rune for some survivability. So you're going to leap into a pack of mobs, and you're going to whirlwind them and murder them, and not take much damage at all, which is great. Also, okay, now next, battle rage with into the fray. Now I'm using into the fray, which will increase my critical hit chance, basically because I'm using the blood funnel rune on my whirlwind skill. So, critical hits restore 1% of your maximum life. The increase in critical hit chance for each enemy within 10 yards is excellent. You'll find yourself, you know, you'll get a 10% crit chance very often, and you'll be healing yourself as well as doing crit damage, which is absolutely excellent. So I find this, this combo is very good. I'm still using Warcry with the Impunity Rune. Just to stay alive, basically. Um, I'm not sure how difficult this is going to be as a barbarian or a monk. So, I'm going to keep that for now. Uh, it might change in the near future, but the intro difficulty has been very reasonable. Uh, and my last skill, Wrath of, the, Wrath of the Berserker, with the Slaughter Rune again. Now you have a, basically a personal preference on which rune you're going to use. Um... I do like Insanity, but it seems like it's been tweaked a bit since the last time I used it. It used to increase your, your damage by 100%, but now it's only 50. So I'd go with Slaughter, because you will notice um, the eruptions of blood uh, quite often. And especially when your crit chance is higher because of the Battle Rage into the Fray Rune. So it'll proc more, and you'll do more damage, and everything is good. Uh, my passives here, Brawler, you're going to be within three enemies a lot, so it's really beneficial to have that 20% increase. Um, unforgiving, because you're going to need the Fury, you don't regenerate Fury as much as you did pre-patch, so this is going to be very helpful. And right now I'm using Weapons Master. This could change, uh, because right now I'm using the, the two-handed Scorn still from my pre-patch gear, but I just picked up, honestly, within 20 minutes of playing, I picked up another Scorn with an increase in damage, I just don't, I'm too lazy to unsocket my one weapon and resocket this one. So I'll do that real quick um, in the near future, and I will gain an increase in damage. So I'll just take you through a quick run, and I'll show you that it's very doable. Whirlwind builds are very viable uh, in the new patch. And you won't die, and you'll have fun killing things like always. So, you're leaping into groups, you're spamming Whirlwind, you're critting all the time. As long as there's over three dudes in the area, you're going to get that 20% damage increase. As well, you're going to get the 1% critical hit chance for every enemy within 10 yards with the Into the Fray rune, which, you know, it's really, really good because the more you crit, the more you heal, the more you can sustain Whirlwind, and, you know, it makes life easier for you, definitely. So, and every time you need a little bit of extra fury, you're just going to hit your Warcry rune, sorry, Warcry squeal, and uh, just get a little bit of fury back. I like the combination, my... War Cry and Battle Rage, just so you don't notice a big dip in uh, Fury when you use Battle Rage, because it does, you know, it costs a, a little bit. So if you can go 
as you can see here, 3, 2 are my active skills. You barely notice a dip. And then you come back in with your leap, and all of a sudden you're at full fury again, and you're wall running through, guys. And you can save your Wrath of the Berserker, or you can use it. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is a very good build, to be honest. Uh, I tweaked it just a little bit uh, from uh, before Reaper of Souls, and I've honestly only played for about half an hour right now, and it seems to be doing just fine. You know, with the increase in Torment difficulty, the build will have to change towards the survivability. Um, but right now, you know, this is what you can do. You just run through it. I figure you might as well just run through Act 5 at a reasonable pace and then worry about increasing the difficulty and tampering with your build after that. So, I hope this guy, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, like I said, first 20, 25 minutes of uh, Reaper of Souls. And if you guys found anything else out that you find very beneficial for a Barbarian build, just give us a like and let us know uh, any tweaks that you have. And I'll be back very soon with some Witch Doctor and Demon Hunter builds. And I plan on making a Crusader very soon because I find the class is very cool. And I I was skeptical at first, but now I'm very excited to play that uh that character class. So thanks for watching again. This is the game series.